you though. So ah, <laughs> that's terrible. That's awesome. Okay, ah! five more minutes, I promise. Oh, that's all right. Mm -hmm. ah. You should have done well, it anyway. It's not here, live. So you can. You totally. She can edit that, and I want you to kiss me. <laughs> where? I mean, are you? Where did you guys? Did you guys go to training together to be marriage counselors? <laughs> did we go work? to training together like to be marriage counselors? It, we, we do train to be life coaches. We train to be, mm, I love you, we do, you're doing amazing. Oh, you wanted table covers, cool. Yeah, what do you think? I like it. I kind of want the candelabras back for ambiance. But we have the candles. Okay, I want, I want candles on the table. They're in. They're in that tote over by the wall. Oh, they have Rama? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I love that one. I was thinking about bringing the elephant from the front room, though. Oh, yeah. Are we, oh, the red light's on. So we are recording. So for our marriage counseling, we... We're not counselors, we're mentors. And so we do sometimes extreme things, board breaking, glass walk, fire walk, arrow break. We, we get to have fun with it. And we've been through so much in our marriage and we've overcome. And now we get to share the tools of how we really overcame. Awesome. Okay, go through the process of tonight. So from start to finish, what will people experience? Awesome. So when they first get here, they're going to come in and instead of sitting at the table, we're going to have a small wedding ceremony. They're going to walk in and in an abbreviated version, recite the seven sacred vows that a married, an in, a Hindu couple recites to each other. And traditionally it's done while taking steps. There are seven vows and you take seven steps in front of what they call the sacred fire. We have a fireplace tonight, so we get to light that up and have some fun. Walk from one end to the other in the seven steps. And then the couples get to race each other to the table. And whoever gets there first gets to rule the house for the next year. <laughs> so that adds a little bit of fun. And after, after that, it'll be a fabulous seven-course meal. That'll take two, two and a half hours. And the biggest part of the night is they get to go home and not talk about how amazing the food was. They get to talk about the experience. You know, the whole purpose of tonight is to bring married couples closer together, to remind them of why they're married and the fun they get to have as a married couple. Perfect. Why Indian food? Why Indian culture? Oh, uh, we, Marianne and I have this amazing goal to get married in as many different cultures as possible. And last summer we went to Bali, which is the only Hindu island in all of Indonesia. And we loved the Hindu culture. And so when I was thinking about this Valentine's dinner and thinking marriage, thinking Valentine's Day, I decided Indian would be a lot of fun. And the more I researched it, the more I really resonated with the vows that they share with each other, the preparation that goes into actually being married. And on top of that, I lo absolutely love Indian food. It's really robust, full of flavor. And I've only ever seen it in Indian restaurants where it's sort of family style. So as a chef, I wanted to test my culinary skills and elevate it to the status of fine dining and have fun while doing that. Um, what is it about Cooking? What is it about preparing food that is an experience for you? Why do you love to cook? For me, and because we're on BYU TV, I can say this. <laughs> I believe we're all meant to be creators. We are designed after the ultimate creator. And for me, my creation largely comes in the form of food. It's a way of taking matter unorganized and creating absolute beauty out of it in so many different ways. And if that's where it stopped, I don't think I would do it. 
but the fact that I get to bring people together. I love food. I love making delicious food, but if there's not someone to share it with, if there's not an event to bring people into where they can really open up and have fun and have an experience, cooking's not worth it to me. So I cook for creation and I cook for connection. That was beautifully, beautifully said. Um, and then just one more question. What are people wearing tonight? Talk about the dress code. Tonight, we invited people to have fun with their Indian dress. And wow, Indian weddings are so bright and full of color. It's all about reds and golds and yellows and oranges, flowers everywhere. And so we invited people to really have fun with it. My wife went out and bought an awesome sari. The hosts are dressed in these amazing Indian wedding outfits. When we went to Bali, we visited a Hindu temple and we were gifted temple clothes from the temple patrons. And I will be wearing that tonight. Uh, and I believe one of my other guests will be wearing that as well. So we get to really dress up and have fun in the bright colors and and the swishy gowns the women are wearing the swishy <laughs> gowns and just really have fun with it perfect and then to say and spell your full name for me one more time and then we're totally done i promise yep. <laughs> my name is anthony denovelis a-n-t-h-o-n-y space d-e capital n o-v-e-l-l-i-s Perfect. Thank you so much, Anthony. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And then for the rest of the night, I'll just kind of